6,300 feet of elevation this week. So we know you for being a great driver of the golf ball. What is the launch monitor saying for the numbers? <laughs> uh, the ball goes far here. Um, yeah, look, the, the longer clubs go along, the ball stays in the air for a long time. So launch monitor is saying I'm carrying my driver somewhere between 350 and 370 this week. So there's actually not a lot of opportunity to hit driver mm. um, because of the, the way the course is set up. So there's a lot of fairway woods off tees. But I think the thing that's most impressive is like how far the irons go here. Mm. So like I won 90 on the last hole and hit nine iron. You know, just I'm trying to get used to, you know, my nine iron at sea, sea level goes 160, 165. So just trying to get used to trusting that the ball is going to go a certain distance with a certain club um you know it takes a little bit of time to get used to and but it's been nice you know i played 18 holes yesterday you know playing nine in the pro-am today i'll do some practice after and i think for me this week it's just about really trusting these numbers and really getting dialed in with those and trusting harry too because it's a lot of work for yeah, him it is he's he's got numbers coming out of everywhere just because he's like well at this temperature, it goes this distance, but at that temperature, it goes that distance, and oh then gosh. somewhere in between, and it's like 10% here, but then sometimes 15%, and it's like a bell curve, so the shorter clubs don't get as much of the altitude, and then the, you know, the mid-irons get a lot, and then, it, you know, you go back to the low irons, and they don't get quite as much because they don't go as high, so it's, yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of stuff going on. Yeah. So this is the difference between you and amateur golfers. You're thinking about temperature. Meanwhile, we're just trying to survive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So speaking of temperature, last week it was very hot in Memphis. It was. And it was a bit of a tough week. It was yeah. uncharacteristic for you. Yeah. So what happened last week? Uh, it's been a long season. Um, probably mentally just checked out after a couple of days. Sort of looking ahead. You know, I think as well, I looked at the leaderboard and I knew I was only going to drop two spots at, at worst. So instead of coming in here in third, I'd come in in fifth. And because of the way the playoffs are structured, this week is important, obviously, but next week at Eastlake is where everything really matters. And I think because of my record at Eastlake and because I've played well yeah. there, um, I'm sort of like, if I can just stay within, you know, four or five shots of Scotty going into next week, I still feel like I'll have a chance. So. Um, probably not the best, you know, I wasn't the best mentally last week, but I was sort of just looking ahead to this week and then obviously to Atlanta as well. So probably didn't give it my best effort, but, you know, I'm, I'm ready for this week. Well, when you think about the season as a whole, you said it's been a, a long season. For yeah. most people, it would be a great season. For you, it's something that has been something that you've been working through. Yep. Would a win, the FedEx Cup, or a great finish here to the season really yeah. flip the script on how you view the season? Yeah, I think so. It would definitely make me feel better about the season. Um, I don't know if it would take away the pain of what happened at Pinehurst, sure. but it would definitely be a way for me to, like, close the, I guess, close the book on 2024 on a positive note. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I think as well, like, some of the play, maybe at the Open... Um, and last week is probably still a little bit of the hangover of Pinehurst and sort of trying to come to terms with, with all of that. But, yeah, I think a couple of good weeks coming up here. Um, you know, I'll feel a bit better about myself and the season as a whole um, as I look towards 2025. What's the positive thought for this week? Uh, I think I've always played well at altitude. Sure. Um, so that's a I, I enjoy. I played well in Mexico. I've played well in Switzerland when I've played there. I've played well in South Africa. Uh, so I've always enjoyed playing at altitude and, and enjoyed what we were just talking about there of, mm -hmm. you know, trying to figure out how far the ball is going. And I feel like I can take advantage of the altitude quite a lot compared to some of the others because of how high I hit it. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I think just having positive vibes from playing um, in these sort of conditions before, I think, the, I think is the, the positive note for the week. Well, there's plenty of altitude here, there so is. you'll get to enjoy the week. Perfect. Thank you. Thanks for the time, Ray.